So the reason e levy is not the answer is that citizens are already suffering from fuel price, inflation, transport fare hikes, currency depreciation. Worker salaries have not increased. There was an initial proposal of 4% increase. Now they said 7%. Can you imagine? Salaries are not going up. So now you have flattened the salary for over a year. Okay? e levy, in our view, will disrupt a growing economy, will become a nuisance, and will affect a lot more poor people than wealthy people. So what is our proposed solution? Well, I have five free pieces of advice. Number one, government must go back to cutting waste. Go to parliament, go to ministries, V8, plenty. We are not being cynical. A country that is broke shouldn't be riding around in V8 in Accra for what? Funeral? Have a pool of V8. Anybody wants to go to a funeral which is official, let them hire one. Go to parliament and see how they, and some of them, the drivers are still inside and the car is breathing. In fact, you can sell all those V8 and build three hospitals or more. We, we are wasteful. Government is too big. We spend too much money on things that are not necessary. You've not paid NAPCO. You've not paid youth in afforestation. You've not paid LEAP. Why are you paying ministers? If there's no food in the house, who doesn't eat first? Isn't it? Yes, so you can't tell me that. What, how many months arrears are ministers' salaries? Why haven't you paid NAPCO? Pay them. If you want us to all pay, if you want us to sacrifice, then the people who shouldn't be paid first are the people in government. Then the MPs will follow. Then pay the drivers, pay the security men, pay the NAPCO. Then we can say we are cutting, but don't, don't, you've not paid NAPCO for six months. What are you and trust me, the 700 cities in Napco cannot even fuel one V8 for one week properly. If you, if you put, if you, if you put 700 cities, somebody has a product, he has sometimes pay 800 cities to fill his tank. You, you understand my point? And that's somebody's fuel. We, we all work is not equal. I'm not, here to, I'm not here to hate on MPs, but I'm saying that if you want us to cut our coat according to our size, start with leadership.